Hey guys, it's me Joshua once again. Today I'm just going to talk about the Xbox One new controller and a little bit of the features that come with it. As you may have heard, there are over 40 new design changes, some a lot more noticeable than others, and some that are probably not too noticeable to you, but can make a big difference with the controller itself. So today I'm just going to talk about some of the more common features that more people are interested in, and if you want a full list, I'm going to link it down in the description below, as well as the video that I saw about Xbox Live's Major Nelson talking about the controller with one of the accessories. I think it's the accessory um, general manager for Xbox consoles. So to start things off, I think the cool thing about it is the fact that it has a flush back, no screw holes or anything, so it feels really nice in the hands apparently. Apart from that, it doesn't have a battery pack that's protruding out, and that was one of the things I hated the most about the Xbox um, 360's controller because it's just there and your fingers have to go wherever they need to go besides to get away from it and that's the reason I really like prefer to play with a wired controller rather than a wireless controller with the 360 of course and I think it's going to be awesome that they're actually doing away with that and all these changes are from direct consumer feedback and play testing and other surveys and tests they've done to determine what's best for the controller of course the next thing is that the start and select buttons have been replaced by the menu and view buttons. And the interesting thing about these two buttons is the fact that they're context specific, which means that in different games or to do different things, and in different parts of games they can actually do different things as well. It really just depends on the support that developers are going to put into these buttons and how well they're going to be using them to increase the immersion of the game. Um, the next thing is that there's a micro USB charger. Um, that's standardized for, standardized for all of the Xbox One controllers. And the interesting thing about this is that you don't actually need an Xbox branded USB cable to actually charge your controller. You can use anything from your phone or your camera basically, which is really interesting. I'm really glad they've done that and they moved into that standardization that a lot of the phones and other devices have adopted. Apart from that, you know, this normal D-pad, everybody's been talking about it, they changed it, it's better, woohoo. Um, I'm one of the people that also thought the D-pad was, and, you know, it's just a lot of people, it was obvious choice to make, they did it, and we'll see how it works in the end. Um, apart from that, I really can't say too much else except for about the rumble packs, basically. Now, with the controller itself, there's the two main rumble packs that you're used to, and they're the bottom of the controller and the handles. But also, in addition to that, they put rumble packs right beside the triggers to actually give a different feel to the controller in different situations. Once again, it goes back to immersion and developer support for these um, kind of concepts of the controller. Now, what the interesting thing you can do with these is if you're shooting a different gun, you can have a different fill. If you're driving, for instance, you can have a different fill whenever your car loses traction on the right side versus the left side, and etc, etc. It has a wealth of application that you can actually put into it, and I want to see a lot of developer support for it, and if it actually takes off like that, there's just numerous things that people can use it for, and I would like to see what where it goes, actually. So, those are the main things I want to talk about today. Um, of course, everything that I've talked about is going to be in the description if you can look at it yourself. For a more in-depth list, though, if you actually, I'm going to try to put something in the description as well for that. I'll look around and see what you guys want to see. Well, um, that's about it for today, guys. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you around.